Okay, this problem you're doing things in reverse of what was done before. Typically in this section what you would have done was you actually would give, they give you two functions f and g, you put them together and you get your final answer for f of g of x. This is different, now they're having you go backwards. What they're saying is that they're going to give you an h of x and they're saying that I put two functions together and I got this as a result. What they want to know is what are the two original functions that you put together in order to get this as a result? So what they want is they want to know what f of x is and they want to know what g of x is. So that way if I put the f into the, into the, the g into the f, I'll get h of x, which is what I'm starting with. So I want to find f and g here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you first look for what is on the inside because what does f of g of x mean? Well, that really means that you're doing this. You're putting a g into the f, that's our definition. So I want to look for something that is inside of something else. The g of x goes inside of the f. Now what I noticed here is inside these parentheses, I do have an expression. That expression is 1 plus x squared. So whatever you see on the inside of something, automatically that's going to be your g of x. So now we got to find the f of x. Now in the previous problems that you've looked at before, what happens is typically what I do is I, I put a g of x into the f and typically what I do is I would remove an x, replace it with what's inside the parentheses. Well if we're going to go back the other direction, we do the exact opposite. I take my expression, so here's my expression, 1 plus x squared to the third power. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the g of x that I already indicated there. I'm going to go ahead and erase it. Now if I, get it, if I erase it, now I have this. I have a blank, something raised to the third power. The blank, instead of filling it in with g of x, I'm going to go back to my original x. I'm going to replace the g inside with x, so therefore my f of x is equal to x to the third power. We can check to see if we got the right answer because we can actually go ahead and do this. We have f of g of x. That means that we're going to put the g into the f. Well here's my g right here, 1 plus x squared. I would put that into here in place of x and if I do I would in fact get this as a result. For this one I want to do exactly the same thing. Again I'm, I'm trying to find out the f of x and I also want to find out the g of x. So th the way it's written right here, it's, it's more difficult to see what the inside function is going to be. So sometimes you might have to do a factoring step in the beginning. So I'm going to do a factoring step here. And if I do that, uh, I'm going to factor out a minus 2 from the second two things. I have a negative that I'm going to pull out and a 2 is common in there as well. And if I pull that out, negative 4 divided by negative 2, I get positive 2x. 2 divided by negative 2 gives you negative 1. So what we notice here is now I notice that there's two different things repeating itself. I have a 2x minus 1 in here and a 2x minus 1 over there. The one that repeats is the one that's going to go down for g of x. That's the one that's inside of something else. So I'm going to put 2x minus 1, that's going to be my g of x. And what you do is, again, we'll do the same thing that we did for the last one. Here is my expression and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the g of x that I identified. I'm going to remove it from here and I'm going to remove it also uh, from here. It, the spaces that's left, you're going to fill those in with x and that's going to give you your f of x function. We remove the g of x, replace it with x, and now I have this left over. Square root of x and then I'm going to write that as minus 2x that I have here. So again, you can check it to see if you did it right by putting the 2x minus 1, if I substitute back into here and here, I will get the same thing that I originally started with, so that's how I can tell if I got the right f and g for this one.